everyone, I am here with the decks I'm using for the month of October. So October is one of my favorite months of the year because of course we have Halloween in it. Um, and we also have like here in Canada, we have Thanksgiving. So it's, it's a great month, some good holidays, some good food, spooky decorations. It is a good month. And so of course I have to pull out my spooky Halloween decks for the month of October. So I will surprise no one by saying that the tarot deck that I'm using for the month of October is one I always use for the month of October, which is the Halloween tarot. So I just have like the tuck box uh, version. Um, I still have the box. I'm very careful with it. I might have to get like a bag or a box or something soon, but I love this deck. Here we are with the backs. Um, I believe, is this a U.S. Games? Yes, it is a U.S. Games. This edition is from 2012, although the, the cards were made in 1996, so... Uh, it's a 90s nostalgia deck, that's for sure. I really love the back. Actually, the back's very nostalgic for me because they look like the wrappers on, Hall I think they're called Halloween Kisses. All I remember is when I was a kid, you would get those candies with, they were orange and they often had like a black cat on it or a witch or something and there'd be like a toffee inside and a lot of people hate them, but I actually really love them. Um, and that's what this makes me think of. So it's very much like Halloween childhood. So this is based on the Rider Waite Smith system, and if you haven't seen this deck already, it is adorable. Um, we have, oh, let's see, we have the tower here. As you can see, it's a haunted house being struck by lightning. There's a black cat in every one of these images. Very cute. Um, four cups, we have ghosts instead. Here we have the king of ghosts. Very, very cute. Um, we have bats for the swords. So here we have the queen of bats. And the moon's always smiling. Very nice. Um, for, let's see what else we got here. Oh, okay. For wands, we have the imps. You can see them dancing around there. And then for pentacles, we have pumpkins. Like how adorable is that? So obviously you've got, you know, it's your typical Rider Waite Smith style. But everything here is spooky and full of Halloween goodness and is just wonderful. Got the hangman here. He is a delightful scarecrow hanging upside down. Very, very cute. Let's see if I can find more of the uh, Major Arcana here. Oh, I love this. The five of, pum of pumpkins is one of my favorites. So he's walking along. He's dropped his candy. Let him go back for his candy. Oh, it's very, very sweet. It's just like a really fun deck, but it gives good readings. Like it's actually like a really, I find it is actually a quite an accurate deck. Um, and it's fun and it's cute, but it delivers, it delivers like truthful, honest messages. I'm just seeing if I can find any more major arcana here. Oh, there's the Hierophant. He is a mummy. It's very cute. Yes, so one of my favorite decks, really happy to be working with that. Um, for my Oracle deck for the month, we have the, of course, the Halloween Oracle. I mean, how could you not, right? Love this deck too. Um, I love the backs with all the like ghosts and pumpkins. I'm all about like kind of the creepy cute. And there we go. But the cards, it's funny, the backs are really cute, but the cards themselves are, I would, I would say they're a little more serious. Um, they're not, I wouldn't say they're all cutesy. They're actually, you know, a serious and thoughtful deck. So you've got, you know, Halloween images in here, but then you've got stuff with like the lamp, which is really about lighting the way for ancestors and about remembrance. And then you've got scrying. It's another really nice one, which is a great activity to do for, um, for Samhain, Halloween. And then we've got Night Song here with the Cardinal, because Cardinals are often associated with Spirits of the Dead. Got the Veil. So it's it's kind of a nice contrast, I find, with the Halloween Tarot, because the Halloween Tarot, like, it could be seen as kind of cutesy, but this kind of has that more serious side of, you know, the season. Graveyard here. So I really love working with these two decks at this time of year, and it really helps me to get into the spirit of the season and you know it does have things in here like we have a vampire we have a zombie card because you got it right i mean oh we got a black cat so love working with these decks so if you're getting a reading for me um 
this month, it is going to be with these decks unless it's like a particular reading that uses like other particular decks. But those are, I'm really excited to be working with those. Um, for my Cardomancy or Lenormand style deck, um, I have here the Mystical Lenormand. It's also in just like a little tuck box here. It's a traditional 36 Lenormand. Um, you know how some of them have like extra cards and things like that. It's also like quite small, which is good. And I really love this one. I actually use this usually um, in the winter and stuff. I'm looking for a Lenormand deck that would kind of go with the Halloween vibe. So if you know of any, please suggest. I would love to know. Um, this one, it has like sort of, I, I associate this one, actually this particular one, a little bit more with like November, December, but be using it this month because it does have things in here like, we've got the mummy. That's pretty cute. War of the Coffin card. This has a very like storybook, mythic, um, sort of medieval type vibe to it. For the ring, we've got a magpie here. He's stolen the ring. And each one has different borders. I'm not a huge border person, but for this one, it really works because each one has like a different border. We've got the garden there. Um, what else? Oh, I love the rider. It's kind of like a knight. There's a horse there. We've got our dog by the fireplace. That one's kind of a fall image. Comfy cozy by the fire. So it's really cute. Oh, we've got the moon. Shepherd. Got our snaky here. So it's like a really cute deck, but I am looking for something that's a little more of a fall vibe um, or like a Halloween vibe, fall vibe for the month of October. But in the meantime, I'm going to be using this one. Um, look at all the angels on the back as well. Um, because it, it is a good little deck, and for now, it's kind of like the best one that I have for matching these. Um, matching right now. Uh, the other deck I'm using right now is the Star Seeds. Um, as we've moved into the darker half of the year, I actually like really like pulling these at night. They are a, it's like a fun little positive thought for the end of the day. I don't know why I associate these with the dark half of the year. Maybe because the back of these is very galaxy-like, which makes me think of like nighttime. So for example, this one here, so this one kind of looks like a little alien reaching out into the sky. This one's got like a star. So it makes me think of nighttime and obviously um, here in the Northern Hemisphere and especially here in Canada, um, it's going to get dark fast. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start to get darker and darker as we, as we go. And so um, I do associate these cards with sort of the darker part of the year. But on the other side, we have these lovely um, oh, the ring lights kind of, that's better. But you see how it's got like this celestial kind of, what they call like gal galaxy colors. Um, and it's got like just really nice little thoughts on it, like creation. Being creative is a wonderful way to witness the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. Freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. Like just these really nice little thoughts for the end of the day. Courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. So if they're just like really nice things, like often, you know, before I go to bed, I'll just pull a quick one. It's just sort of like a thought for the end of the day. So um, I've really been enjoying working with these. Um, other than that, um, these are kind of my decks for the month. I like to kind of devote like to one deck or like one tarot, one oracle, one cardomancy kind of for the month. So I'm not scattered all over the place. Um, and I always look forward to working with these Halloween type decks. Now, if you know of like a Halloween spooky or fall type Lenormand, um, I'm all ears. Please suggest. I would love to hear. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, you can check out, I have on my Etsy shop. If you're interested in readings, my featured reading for the month is the inner demon reading. It's like a shadow work reading. So you can check that out there. Um, on the Patreon as well. Thank you to all my patrons. You guys are awesome and amazing. We're still working through the artist way, which is really fun and awesome. Um, and I am also thinking of bringing back the academy level where we're going to do some deep dives into the tarot. So you can check that out there if you're interested, but otherwise, thank you. And thank you to all my patrons. You guys are awesome and amazing and allow me to do these kind of things. So thank you so much. Um, as always, um, thank you and peace and love. Thank you.